uh, a premium golf ball production line must seduce all of its balls to 1.615 ounces in order to get the top rating and therefore the top dollar. Samples are drawn hourly and checked. If the production line gets out of sync with a statistical significance of more than 1%, it must be shut down and repaired. Uh, this this hour sample of 18 uh, has a mean of 1.611 ounces and the standard deviation of 0 0.065 ounces. Do you shut the do you shut down the line? All right, thank you. All right, go ahead and um, identify the symbols for the numbers in the problem, everyone. And then after that, I will go over them with you guys and see if you guys got it got them right. Uh, what is the notation for for one one point six one five ounces, everyone? What is it? Um, Brianna, it's good that it's HA, but what is that? Is that the mean mu or the mean x bar or the proportion or what is it or the standard deviation or what? Is you just have to do the testing about the population mean. So most of the time it should be the mean mu, okay? So in this case, the, the mean mu, which is the population mean. Population mean is 1.615 ounces, okay? So this is the mean for for each ball, right? It should be 1.615 ounces for the population of this um, golf ball production line, okay? All right. The next one is that samples are drawn hourly and checked, okay? So the next one will be the, will be the, the sample, okay? So if the product line gets out of sync with a statistical significance of more than 1%, okay, then it must be shut down and repaired. This hour sample of 18 balls. So uh, what is the notation for the 18 balls? Everyone type in the chat for me. What is the symbol for the 18 balls? Right, it should be the sample, right? The sample size, okay, good. All right, and has a mean of 1.611. We're talking about the sample, okay? So here we're talking about the sample. All right, so what is the notation for, or the symbol for one? Uh, what is the notation or symbol for 1.611? You can see that this whole thing here is about the sample. So if, if you read a sentence about the sample, then the, the entire information in that sentence is about the sample, All right? It should be the X bar, right? Yeah, good. It should be the X bar, okay? And a standard deviation, and a standard deviation of 0 0.065 ounces. What is the notation for this, everyone? What is the notation for the 0 0.065, the standard deviation? What is it? The population standard deviation is the sigma, but for the sample, what is the notation? It should be the little s, right? Little s, okay? What is the notation for the 1%? We skipped it because I want to go back to it. What is the notation for 1%, everyone? If you look at the word statistical significance, so what is that? Be the little alpha. So the alpha is one point uh, one percent, or if you convert it to the decimal number, that is going to be zero point zero one. Okay, because one, and if you move it, move the decimal point to the left twice, right? Then it's going to be that's a zero right here. Okay, so it should be 0 0.01. All right, so now we already identified all the, the numbers. We just have to follow the steps. 
and we need to answer, do you shut down the line? Yeah. So we have to answer that after we do the test hypothesis. All right, so let's do the test first and then answer that question later, because if we answer it now, it would be too much. All right, let's start with number one, okay. All right, so we already have HO is the mean mu is equal to 1.615, which is the population mean, right? The population mean, okay. And then HA is mean mu, what is the, what is the sign in there, everyone? Is it uh, what number is in there? And what is the, the inequality sign in there? Is it greater than, is it less than, or is it not equal to? What's your notation? For the HA, you have to choose one of these. Remember that HA does not contain the equal sign, okay? Only the HO contains the equal sign. All right, good, everyone. Like I told you uh, in this class, they don't ask you to um, do the is greater than or is less than, so it should be not equal to. And what is the number? What is the number not equal to what? All right, good, everyone. It should be the same as the number on the left here, okay? It should be one point. 615, it's about the population mean. So remember that the hypotheses are always about the, the population parameter. It's not about the sample, okay? So you have to use the mean mu uh, for the population mean. You don't state the sample mean in the hypotheses, okay? So yeah, both of these numbers are the same, okay? The only difference between them is the, the equal sign and the not is not equal to, okay? Right, Brittany, good. All right, we are doing, yeah, Jennifer, good. Um, right, because you do the T test because, because the, the population uh, standard deviation, right? The population standard deviation sigma is unknown, okay? When the population standard deviation sigma is unknown, then we do the t-test, okay? Otherwise, we would do the z-test, right? Okay, good. Right, step five. We need to find the critical values. In this case, we have to use the, the t-table, the table with a lot of numbers, okay? Unlike the z-test, we had only three pairs. But for this uh, t-test, we need the whole table because we need to look at the, the what is that called? The, the n value, okay? All right, so in this case, we need to find the critical value and draw and label a graph, okay? All right, so first you draw the graph. like the bell shape, right? And then the middle one is always the mean, okay? And then you want to draw the two tails, always the, the, the two tails test. So you want to have the left tail and the right tail. And the value right here at the border between the left tail and the middle section would be the, the critical value, okay? So you can think of this as the the T crit, okay, the T crit. And it should be the negative value and the, the number on the right should be the T crit also, the critical value, but it should be positive. And we have to find those values from the table. All right, so, and also we know that the alpha is 0 0.1, okay. And so the area of each region, the area of each region should be um, should be alpha over two. 
what is alpha over two, everyone? Can you type in the chat for me? Or which is the area of the left tail and the area of the right tail? So if alpha is 0 0.01, then which is the same as 1%? Okay. What is alpha over two? Can you guys type in the chat for me? You can think of this as um, 0.5%, right? So if you convert it to the decimal number, what is the C over two in decimal form? All right, Jennifer, 0 0.005, 0.005, is that right? So that means that the area of the each tail should be, should, should be um, 0 0.005, okay? And this area is the same thing, alpha over two, which is 0 0.005. All right, and now we have to find the critical value, T, using the table. And many of you had, um, trouble using the table from last time. So here is how you guys do it. Let's go to the table. So you guys remember for me, okay, the, the alpha is, is 1%, okay, 1% or 0 0.01. Make sure that you guys remember that for me. And the, what is N in this case, everyone? What is N in this case? Can you guys type in the chat for me? What is N in this problem? All right, I got Ms. Sarah, how about, all right, N is 18. So if N is 18 for this, for this kind of problem, for the T-test, you have to find the degree of freedom, okay? The degree of freedom. It just means that n minus one, n minus one. So in this case, it's 18 minus one, which is 17, okay? So the degree you can use df is 17, okay? So you need to look at the degree of freedom is 17, okay? If n is 18, then the degree of freedom is 17, n minus one, and the alpha is 0 0.1 for both for both tails, all right? So remember those numbers for me, okay? So alpha 0 0.01 for both tails, the area, and then the degrees of freedom is 70. All right, now let's look at the table. Here is a table, everyone. And notice that you have to look at the two tails if you use the, the alpha, okay? But if it just has one tail, then you have to double the alpha. Um, yeah, then you have to um, double the alpha, okay? But in this case, it is for both tails. So you, you look at the, the numbers on the right. So the alpha that we are given is 0 0.01. Is that right, everyone? Am I correct? Say yes for me. The alpha is 0 0.01. Yes or no, everyone? Can you remember? Yes, right? The alpha, the significance level is alpha, is 0 0.01, 1%, okay? So you look for that number here. You look for that number, okay? The alpha of 0 0.01. And also you look for the, that means that we're gonna use this column, okay? And what is the degrees of freedom, everyone? What is the degrees of freedom? Does anyone remember? It's 17, right? It's n minus one, it's n minus one, which is 18 minus one, right? So it should be 17, okay? So you just, you just found the alpha. Now you go to the degrees of freedom, uh, which is 17. You can see that here is a 17, okay? Then you move to the right to the same, to the column that we just looked at the alpha. And yeah, and here is the, the critical value that you need to get. Yeah, so here is the critical value that you need, okay? All right, so it should be 2.8, uh, not 
Okay. Make sure that you remember it for me. All right, so you guys all understand it, right? All right, let's move back to the, the problem. All right, so uh, can you guys type in the chat for me what is the T-crit that we just found? Did anyone write it down? All right, Monserrat, good that you guys followed and write down how about other people. Did you guys write it down? All right, got Jennifer too. Yeah, so you go back to the good Brittany, Jennifer, Monserrat, and then you go back to the, the graph here, T-crit um, for 2.898, the one on the left should be the negative value of that, should be negative 2.8. Eight nine eight, and the number on the right should be positive, uh, two point eight nine eight. The number that you just found from the table. Okay, all right. So you already have the t or the critical values t. Okay, and remember that um, if later we're gonna find the test statistic, and if it falls in the the right tail. That means that we reject the no, okay? Also, if it falls in the left tail, that means that we reject uh, HO, okay? But if the test statistic falls in the middle section, then we fail to reject the no, HO, okay? But we need to um, find the test statistic first, okay? All right, let's do that. So the test statistic, the notation for the test statistic in this test should be T, uh, OBT, OBT. This means that it is the test statistic, okay? And then we will use a formula to find out what it is. And we're gonna find out uh, what region is gonna fall in in the graph, okay? All right, to do that, to find the T-O-B-T, we have to use a formula. It's a lot of steps. All right, let's move on to number six, everyone. All right, um, what is N again? We just go ahead and state all the values again so that you won't forget. What is N again? Type in the chat for me. All right, good, everyone. And it's 18, right? What is X bar? Can you guys type in the chat for me? What is X bar, the sample mean? All right, it's good for you guys that you follow so that you can understand it better. Even if you guys get it wrong, I want to see you guys try and follow the lecture, okay? So X bar is one point. 611 is the sample mean, okay? Good. And what is the what is the mean mu, everyone? What is the mean mu here? Type in the chat for me. All right, it should be 1.615, right? 1.615, uh, yeah, it should be this number right here. The population mean. All right, good, everyone. And then what is the, the S, everyone? What is, the, what is S equal to? Type in the chat for me. S is the, the sample standard deviation, okay? All right, good. So here is the S, is the sample standard deviation. So it should be 0 0.065, okay? All right, so S is zero, Point zero six five. All right, it's already six thirty, so we have only twenty more minutes to finish this problem. And then we need to calculate. Okay, if you look at the formula earlier of the formula in the table with the Z test, then the formula I'm gonna just write it here for you guys. So it's gonna be T O B T is equal to x bar minus the mean mu over s divided by the square root of n. 
And you can see that in this case, the sigma is not given. So the S here is in place of the, the sigma. Okay. All right. Go ahead and plug in the numbers for me and then um, type the answer in the chat for me. I'm going to give you guys one minute to do it. You can move the square root of 18 to the top. So that means that you can um, subtract first and whatever you get multiply by the square root of 18 or take the square root first and then multiply by the difference and divide it by 0 0.65. And uh, pay attention to the sign, negative or positive. You can route it two or three decimal places for me. All right, I'm still waiting for your answer. The reason that we want to route it through two, three decimal places is because if you look at the, the critical values here, everyone, the T crit, you can see that it has, it has three decimal places. So that's why you want to uh, do that. So you can, uh, it's easier for you to compare like the three decimal places for the T crit. Good, everyone. So the answer, if you route it to three decimal places is because you want it to be the same as the critical values, the same um, three decimal places, 0 0.261, okay? All right. Uh, it should be negative, everyone. Don't forget that you have the negative here and the, the sign is very important for this kind of problem because so you know that which region it falls in because if you get the sign wrong, then the whole thing would be wrong, right? Okay, so... This is the the T O B T. Okay, T O B T. It should be the the test statistic. Okay, make sure that you write out the name many times so that you can remember it or remember other notations as well. Okay, all right. So let's go back to the diagram here. We already have the T O B T and we found it to be negative zero point. Two six one, all right. So I'm gonna label the. I'm gonna label the the regions three regions. Okay, one, two, and three. What region does the the T O B T fall in? Everyone, type in the chat for me. Just give me a, give me a number. It should be in region. Two, everyone, it should be somewhere over here, okay? It should be somewhere over here. So it should be in region two. Yeah, you guys have to be careful with the, the negative um, task statistics. Yeah, so the negative 0 0.261 should be greater than, it should be greater than negative 2.898, okay? So it should be to the right of it. So... Uh, that means that that means that if it falls in the second region, that means that we we fail to reject the no. Okay, that means that we fail to reject the no H O. That's what you guys have to say. So is there, I'm going to ask you guys, so is there a statistically significant difference between the mean mu 
the population mean, and the x bar. So what's your answer, everyone? Yes or no? Time in the chat for me. If you look at the notes from the previous one. All right, I got Brittany. And then Merlos. If you look at the notes from the previous one for the Z test, I already gave you the notes. Let's review it. Here, here are the notes the, at the bottom right here. If you look at the notes, then if you fail to reject the no, then that means that you cannot, that means that you cannot support the HA, right? Where is it? Yeah. So if you fail to reject the no, that means that it's kind of like uh, the no, um, temporary, is temporary accepted, okay? is temporary accepted, but you don't say the word accepted in this case. You just say that, um, don't reject it. But in order for you to understand it, you just say that the no is accepted. So you don't reject it, okay? you fail to reject it. So that means that in this case, the answer is no, okay? There is no uh, statistically significant difference between the mean new and the X bar. That means that in this case, uh, the no is what? The no is the same as the mean mu is the same as the x bar. So there's no difference between them. Okay. Yeah, so the, the conclusion what that we just got should be down here in the box down here. Yeah. 